which is better, the Bitcoin ETF or QQQ? I will tell you using the Lux Algo Oscillator Matrix plus other Lux Algo tools. If you need a roadmap in crypto or you need to learn about Lux Algo, subscribe to this channel. Turn on alerts so you know when we're posting a new video. And if the content works for you, hit the like button. This content is brought to you by Lux Algo. My affiliate link is in the description down below and in the comments. This service is one third the price of a system that I used for 20 years at Wall Street done by Tom DeMarc. Lux Algo gives you similar signals. Now, Let's go to the Bitcoin ETF and see what Lux Algo is telling us. This is a 20 hour chart. It's my little twist, my nuance on timeframes. And this on the bottom is the Bitcoin ETF oscillator matrix. A few things that you'll notice down on the bottom, it gives you these triangles and circles. The triangles to me, are like warning signs. And again, this is very similar to the system I used at Wall Street. It's like warning, bottom coming. Then what happens? Okay, the Bitcoin ETF heaves lower in an emotional fashion. And then you get this X signal. I made it bigger here for emphasis. This is another Lux Algo indicator called another Lux Algo indicator called signals and overlays. So the oscillator matrix warning signal signals and overlays gives you an X that turned out to be the low at a take profit target from the signals and overlays short at the start of the down move. So follow me here. Oscillator matrix goes warning, warning, warning. Signals and overlay says take profits for shorts. Longs jump in. And oscillator matrix showing you on this higher time frame chart that money flow, even though it's been negative, has been getting progressively less negative, allowing for any future upside price action to potentially turn money flow negative. I'm sorry, turn money flow positive as in green. Now let's take a look at a tactical chart of IBIT. So I, I can label this. This is IBIT, the Bitcoin ETF, the 89 minute chart. Now this is again, tactical short term. Here is your warning sign for a bottom right here on July 5th. Now what else do you notice with the oscillator matrix? You see this red on red? So obviously money flow is people selling. So what you see is you have red on red. What does that mean? That means from a trading perspective, that's where you had the tactical capitulation. In other words, on a lower time frame chart, my interpretation is that this is where short-term traders gave up. So you have bottom signals on a high time frame, capitulation on a short time frame and multiple forms of bottoming signals on multiple different timeframes in the Bitcoin ETF. How does that compare to QQQ? So of course, NASDAQ has been on a rampage higher, right? but is that rational? Is it? Okay, short answer, no. Let's, let's get it from Lux Algo. So in the oscillator matrix, you've had one, two, three, four, five signals going, hey, Red triangles, get out. Stan Druckenmuller, famous hedge funds. Everyone, Goldman Sachs, questioning I NVIDIA, chip stocks all the way up. Hedge funds selling the market to retail. So if you put Lux Algo together with the news, got a friend who says, show me the charts, I'll tell you the news. Show me Lux Algo and then match it up with the news. So everyone is like, get out, get out, get out of tech stocks as smaller investors are piling in as you can see, the FOMO green on green. Now, what happens when you have FOMO? Well, when it ends, it ends badly with QQQ falling sharply after an inflation number. Which is better, QQQ or the Bitcoin ETF? I'm going to have to let you decide. But one other thing I wanted to show you about the oscillator matrix is that it will draw for you, it will show you where divergences occur. What's a divergence? It will be when price 
makes a new high, but a momentum indicator, something that helps you understand the strength of the trend, makes a higher low. Frequently with these things, you know, you have to identify them, but the oscillator matrix does it for you. And with bearish divergences or YouTube chart guys call it bear div, the reactions can be strong on the downside. Everyone will think it's over and then there can be another one. So the Bitcoin ETF recently had gone down while QQQ had gone up. So let's do something on the fly here. Let's put the Bitcoin ETF up here with QQQ. So as you can see, the Bitcoin ETF was down, down, down as QQQ was up, up, up. There's QQQ in the bar chart going up and there's the Bitcoin ETF going down. The Lux Algo oscillator matrix is telling you that this decoupling that has worked against crypto and against Bitcoin relative to tech is about to start working for crypto relative to tech. Bitcoin, tech stocks, which is better? Lux Algo just told you. Come back for future videos, affiliate link down below.